today on Divorce Court. Candace is nonchalant and acts single, which causes me to think that our relationship isn't important. I'm not nonchalant. For one, I'm there every day. For two, I give him love and affection. I want Judge Lynn Toller to make Candace realize what she has in front of her before she loses it. What does Jerry want from me? I'm doing everything I can. I need the judge to let him know that he needs to calm down or I have to go. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Jerry Thompson and Candace Maxwell. The two of you have been together for four years. You have one child together, but you do not want to be together anymore. I'm going to start with you, Mr. Thompson. Why don't you tell me what, we're, what went wrong in your relationship and why we're here today? I'm going to say right now, Candace acts single, and I, I have to say I'm part of the blame for that because in the beginning of the relationship, I was the one that acted single. I did single things but I was still in a relationship. I did things that I knew I shouldn't have been now, doing. Now, when you say single things, are we talking about other women? Once. Or yes. just... Once. Uh-huh. And then, I, you know, I used to communicate on social networks with a lot of people and talk, you know, just mess around a little bit, but... A little high schooly. Yes, ma'am. A little high schooly with it? Exactly. Yeah. But now, now what has happened? Has the tide turned? Yeah, now it's... I'm focused and I'm ready, and she's so nonchalant about the relationship. And I she don't put it, nice she don't put as I... much effort as she used to. Give me an example of, of, of where her effort has fallen off. She don't show no love or affection. Like, you know, like I tell her all the time, like, man, like when I'm stressed out, like she can like sometimes I might come home from work, she'll see I'm stressed out. I'll be like, I'll have to tell her, like, man, rub my head or something. I don't feel like rubbing your head. I don't want to rub your head. I'm like, I'm asking you, that's what I need. Like, do that for me. Make me feel special. And, and then... man been at work all day. It's been a tough day. He's got a headache. How come you can't rub his head? Because, Judge, he acts like a baby. We have a child together. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, you know, I'm tired from taking care of the baby. Mm -hmm. So it's like I have one child. I love him, and he's my man, but sometimes I just don't feel like it. Never feels like it. That's not true. You both have jobs outside the yes, home? Yes, And you're the primary caretaker of the baby? Yes. You do do most of the in-house work as well? Yes, I do. Oh, that's why you're not getting your hair. Not but, most. But, I, but I'm... Don't not let her... most all of the in-house cleaning. No. Cleaning after him. No, she everything. does clean up after me a lot. Because I'll tell the truth, Your Honor, I've, been, I've always been like that. Like, I might come in... I'm, I'm messy. Like, I might come in and take mm -hmm. all my clothes off and set them at the end of the bed, and it'd mm -hmm. be like a pile of my clothes or something like that. But I help pick up. I help clean up. I run her bath waters all the time. I lotion her up every time she get out the bath. So she can't does say he do I don't. That? He does, but your all honor, the time. Just for example, if he if he has the day off and I'm at work, we may um, there may have been an argument the night before or so, or whatever. You know, he may come to my job and give, bring me a rose and have my water ran when I get home. But it's like the damage is done. So I don't do that when we don't argue. So, oh, so what you're saying is he only does that when he's apologizing for some nonsense he's already done. No. Sometimes she can't say that. Sometimes I yes. Yeah, I don't believe it either, Mr. Thompson. She can't you, look, say that. you still look good over there. Now, Mr. Kent, <laughs> now, you say Ms. Maxwell runs around and dresses like she's single. Tell me what you find uh, distracting about her attire. Okay, I'm gonna show you these shorts, Your Honor. No. This is an example of these shorts. No. On the 4th of July, uh -huh. she wore these shorts. We, uh, we had a family, um, we had a family picnic at a, at a park. She wore these shorts. When she left out the house, she already seen on my face. I didn't say a word, though. I didn't say a word. We get to the park. Everybody's there. First thing her grandma says is, your butt's hanging out these shorts. Then, but I, then, her, aunt, then her aunt comes. Her aunt's like, yo, man, let... Her aunt didn't even see me there. She's like, yo, man, let you come out the house like that? Then is her that, mother... Is that, the, is that the picnic? Yes, ma'am. But she took a picture. Then she took another picture, like, where you could see, like, in between her legs, nothing but her thighs, and she bottom heavy, no. so she has a nice butt and some nice thighs, so... Like that, right there, okay, Your Honor. Okay, so what do your, your eyes see? The what do your eyes see, Your Honor? And the shoes, right? No. What do you see, Your Honor? Thighs. Thighs and leg. That's it. That's inappropriate That's for a woman. That's a little Gucci there, Ms. Yeah. Maxwell. Would you wear it? Okay. Your so, Honor, ask her would she wear that to pick up her son from school or take him to school. So if there was an issue, shouldn't he have said something in the beginning I didn't when see I purchased him like the that. shorts? I didn't look at her like that that day. Now, Ms. Maxwell, why don't you tell me what your complaint is about Mr. Thompson? For example, I ran track, so a friend comment on my page of me and my son. Like, our kids should hang out. What Jerry doesn't understand, being an, an athlete and a very talented athlete, I know many people, men and women. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and 
He just got very upset and thought it was something more than what it was. And it was honor. nothing at all. And he jumped to conclusions, you know, oh, he's talking to you, you're talking to him, and all this other stuff, just blowing it way out of proportion. It's like, we've been together for four years, and I'm here with you, and I've given my all to you, then you should understand that there's nothing. I have nothing to hide. Your Mr. Honor, I study sociology in college. I know men. I know what men do. The things that men do, that's the things I used to do. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. I, I seen what he was doing. What? He don't, he, even, knows he don't even know the father of a child. Why would, why would you want your kid playing with another kid? It's you don't simple. even know the father. Come on, now. He's thinking way no, too far not. into No, I'm it. not. I'm thinking how I used to think, and I know how men think. But he should know me well enough to know that no. my woman respects me But our relationship me and ain't, ain't that strong at the time. Like, we're not uh -huh. that connection. Like, Your Honor, she does Ask stuff like... Him why. She hides her phone. You know what I mean? Like, she has a code on her phone. I don't know. You know, she do a lot of little sneaky stuff that, that I just let pass by because of... And I let it pass by because of the things I did in the past, but I'm at the point where, like, I can't I keep doing that. She blowing up your phone all the time. No, I blow up her you, phone. You blow up her phone. Because, Why do you blow up her phone? Because anytime it's an issue, say we get into an argument, she quick to run off. She don't want to talk about it with me, but I'm sure she'll go to her cousin or whoever and talk to them. I'm like, when we got an issue, I want to resolve it now because when I used to have issues... What do you have in your, your hand honor, there? I have the text messages. Can, can I see that, please? Back it's probably back more than that. Where he's calling constantly. It's... And within a minute, 20, t 20 calls. I would have called 50 five times. Five text messages. Like, I don't get a break. You're out He's of so aggressive and consistent to where after the argument, I need a break. I need to take a time what to about think about What about the 20th it? call do you think <laughs> helps your position? I mean, what, what, I mean, why does... 20 unanswered calls. It's Doesn't ridiculous. I'm not signal to you that, oh, she's not going to answer her phone, so let me stop? I'm not <laughs> thinking about how many calls or how many times. I'm thinking See, about let's, let's resolve have. this issue. Why, why are we waiting to resolve an issue? Because eventually you coming home, we got to lay down together, we're going to be in the same room. Let me tell you something, Mr. Thompson. If you calling somebody that often, it's not time to resolve the issue because you're mad. No one calls that many times she when they're always rational. like that, though. You weren't rational. No, I'm going to fuss at her in a minute. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> But you weren't rational when you were doing all that. Now, Ms. Maxwell, you are not 12. You cannot run out of the house every time you guys get into an argument. I don't know why people can't sit down and have a conversation. I just don't get it, and she I can't don't understand. Fault, Your Honor. Your when she's at fault, she can't Hang admit on. it. What? I wish you could be a fly on the wall... Me too. ...when we have a heated debate, argument, whatever you want to call it. Well, what he, are you fighting about? Just how Jerry is. He's insecure <laughs> and... Your he, Honor, I'm not insecure they, when I know something going on. I know what's he, going on. You can't... Every time he, I, I had some, I had solid facts and evidence no, that she was doing something. No, give me some solid facts and like, evidence. Like, one time I called... One time I caught her, and I, um, she was talking... She was FaceTiming somebody that she used to talk to. They FaceTime her on the phone at work. So I asked her, I'm like, when is the last time you um, talked to somebody? She like, oh, somebody FaceTimed me from somebody else's phone. But she didn't tell me about it. I had to find out. I had and to do... And see, I can't tell him things like Why? that. Because, because he gets excited. And, I got and then wait, Judge... And hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, I, I want to uh, restart this conversation. <laughs> what does he need to do in order to let you trust him again so you can be nice to him? He needs to be honest. When I know something for a fact and ask him about it, he needs just to be honest and real with me. And that's one of the big things that he can do. How can she say that and she won't do that? You guys were about to get in an argument in here. I can't... I, I seem to see that you two argue over stuff that one would argue about if you were in high school. You're talking to this guy who's on the phone over there, who's on your social media, what are you wearing over here and there. Is that, in reality, the kind of things that you argue about, Ms. Maxwell? Yes and no. Well, tell me about the no part. Okay, well, I guess you can say yes. But one problem I have with him is he may be going to out of town or something and or visiting home, and he'll put on Facebook, I'm here, <laughs> like an open invitation, you know, to girls, that's why he's laughing now, an open invitation for people to inbox. And let's just say if he does get an inbox and I happen to see it, there will be a communication with Jerry and other people, but in his reply, it will be missing. So it's basically like the person is talking to themselves. Uh -huh. So when I ask him about it, <laughs> he tried to make it seem like I'm crazy or delusional, like really, and there's no getting answers from him. And so it's like, 
how do you how do you expect for me to trust you if you're not being open and honest? Even when I have all the evidence. Are you deleting you? one side of the conversation yes. so she can't hear what you're saying? Probably like two years ago, but the last years I haven't done that, Your Honor. And, and she know all the time girls that will be sitting in the car. Like one time, this girl just called me on Facetime. I never <laughs> talked to this girl in my life, Your Honor. She just called me and she made it seem like me and her talk all the time. So I answered the phone. She like, I'm like, what's up? She like. You must be around your girl and hung up. And so it made it seem look? like mm -hmm. I ain't never talked to this girl Wait, one time in my life. At? She not even my cup of tea if you've seen her. Yeah. I mean, well, you don't know my cup <laughs> of tea, but... Yeah, I, I got it, I got it, I got it. But, you know, you don't like who's FaceTiming him. He doesn't like you FaceTiming other people. Like, you know, just, you know, unplug. Mm -hmm. You know, you know I, what I mean? I just told her, I told her a little bit. Good night, nurse. I understand that your sex life is no longer what it once was. Yeah. Who wants to address that? I could start, she just ain't, she ain't spontaneous. Like, she, she feel like she don't gotta, like, do anything. Like, not even just sex, just, like, kisses and hugs. Like, she don't, she don't do that. She's like, not affectionate. Not at all. She, it's like, I'm I emotional. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, I wear my emotions on my sleeve. I've always right. been like that. Like, she don't show enough emotion, and she used to. And it's like, where'd that go? Who you giving enough affection and love to? Are you sad in the, in, in the kindness and love department? Um, not necessarily sad, just from the incident that Jerry told you before in the beginning where he did have a slip up and messed with someone, you know, it, I feel like I love you and I'm going to forgive you, but, but you have to, stop, 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 stop. but you have to build back up. You did something wrong, so it's not going to just be given to you and you have to work towards getting my trust back. What does he need to do in order to let you trust him again so you can be nice to him? He needs to be honest. When I know something for a fact and ask him about it, he needs just to be honest and real with me. And that's one of the big things that he can do. How can she say that and she won't do that? How can she, you can't that even sit so here and say true. that? And see, that's another thing. When I'm trying to tell him- I have an urge to get a kickball out and just start <laughs> kicking around the room. You guys are so childish. Well, how old is your child? He'll, He'll be, be two, two Friday. You two need to, to step your game up a little bit. You two are worried about FaceTiming and messaging and direct texting and social media and all. What, what, do you, do you read to your kids? Do you guys run around the backyard or something? Yeah. I mean, oh, is, yeah. is there, is there a life beyond electronics at your crib? Oh, yeah, definitely. We go, like, we just had my kids now for the summer. Like, we've been to so many places, fairs, hotels, amusement park. Like, the whole summer we've been, like, like, we, we haven't even had time for each other because we've been so focused on the kids, you know? And I applaud her for that because she really helped a lot with my kids this summer and our son as well. So you have kids by another it, yes, from another relationship. Yes, okay. When he's on the phone with his friends, they'll ask him, "What are you doing?" And he'll be like, "Oh, I'm here with my, you know, what word?" And it's just like I don't like when he uses that word because I'm not that. Mr. Thompson, is that accurate? Do you believe Candace is still punishing Jerry for cheating years ago? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at DivorceCourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Maxwell, you say that it upsets you when his friends speak about you disrespectfully and he never stands up for you. Why don't you tell me about that? Um, not necessarily his friends. Mm -hmm. When he's on the phone with his friends... Yes. ...and they'll be talking and, you know, they'll ask him, what are you doing? And he'll be like, oh, I'm here with my, you know, what word. And it's just <laughs> like, I don't like when he uses that word because I'm not that. I'm a woman, I'm a queen. Okay, Mr. Thompson, is that accurate? A long time ago, I, I cut that out a long time ago and I stopped that on my own, Your Honor. And mm -hmm. she has to admit that I used to refer like that, but it, it wasn't in a disrespectful way, even though it is a disrespectful thing, but I wasn't saying it in a disrespectful way, like calling her that, you know uh -huh. what I mean? I'm, it's not That's right. That's just how you refer to That's women just at a, the it, time. No, no, not even, yeah, but like, like <laughs> when I'm with my friends, like that's how they talk, like, you know what I mean? So they like, that's basically. So that's how you refer basically to like saying that's my time. woman. No, yeah. my woman. I'm with my woman, but I just use a different word. Another issue I have with Jerry, yes, Your Honor, is when 
we're having a conversation or an argument, and I'm just trying to get my point across to him, and it's like he cuts me off. He doesn't let me finish what I'm saying. So it's like we're going in a repeated circle of having the same conversation because he wants to cut me off and talk. He doesn't give me a chance to complete what I'm saying. When you talk to him, and this is just a question, because I don't know, do you say a lot before you let him get in there? He doesn't give me a chance to. Like, if I'm mm. feeling some type of way for the day, I tell him. But before I even finish telling him, he if cuts I me off. If I feel some type of way for the day, it sounds like you're emoting in his direction. If I feel some type of way for the day. So what are you saying to him when he cuts you off? I come to him, babe, you're doing this, so can you stop that? And in the midst of saying that, he'll cut me off or be aggressive towards me where I can't even complete, you know, my sentence and expressing to him how I feel. So then it's, it's just an argument to me and then me going back and nothing gets resolved. Do you know what she's talking about? Your Honor, sometimes when it ain't truth in what she's saying, like, it's so hard to... It's so hard for me to understand, like, the when you she... say there's no truth in what she's saying, are you saying, like, factually, she's upset about something that never really happened, or it's that you don't believe she ought to feel the way she does? Yeah, or maybe because, he doesn't like that, care. Like, hey, Honor, hey, hey, hey. Like, she told you this, Your Honor, like she said, oh, he only runs bath water when I'm mad. That's, that's totally inaccurate, because I run her bath water all the time. She'll call me and tell me. I do stuff for her all the time. She'll only acknowledge it when she's mad. And she, it, it, I don't, it, it's, it's so complex, Your Honor. It is with her, because she, she's so selfish that she don't see oh. the things that she does. She don't see, because she's always thinking about Candace. You know what I mean? Like, she's always thinking about Candace. But if I was thinking about Candace, Your Honor, why would I waste my time in being with Jerry for years? Why would I give him a child? Why would I, you know... Well, that's just silly. People do that all the time. Thank They're you. selfish and they have husbands Thank and you. they have get children. But I'm selfish not... people do it all the time. But I wouldn't waste my time loving him and showing him that I care if I was so selfish. Yeah. I'm far from it. In the beginning, I'm an only child, but, you know, I've come a long way being with Jerry from being selfish. I got it. I got it. I understand what's going on. What is standing in the way of Jerry and Candace having a peaceful relationship? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Between my husband and I, we raised six children. The last one is 21, and I am sick of you people. You two are like a couple of junior high schoolers. Your arguments make no sense whatsoever. You come in here with all this random emotionality and all this kind of stuff, and I'm something, and I'm feeling some type of way, and blah, 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 and he's sick of it. He doesn't want to hear it. It's too much. Men, little little short sentences. They really do. They're like, this, 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 boom. Leave it alone. You got a whole lot of mouth, a whole lot going on over there, and a lot of it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You two need to unplug the computer, put the phone down, start calling each other 5,000 different times and getting on social media and talking to one another. You're not in high school anymore. You have a child. I'm not going to talk about splitting up your money and going separate ways. You have a two-year-old in your house. Don't have any more babies till you grow up. You hear me? Yes, Don't have not one more because you have to be completely grown when you have these people. And then these people... They learn how to feel from you. They learn how to resolve disputes and problems from you. They learn how to emote. They learn how to communicate all from you. Isn't that scary? It can be. It is scary. Not it can be. It is scary. Because you two are behaving like you are in the seventh grade. Back up off that nonsense. Unplug the computer. Put the phone down. Pick up a book and then get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs>